Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my 2022 What I Got My Kids For Christmas. Sarah and like I said welcome to my 2022 what I got my kids for Christmas video this is by far and away the most requested video here on my channel it is also my absolute favorite video to film year after year I started doing this when my youngest daughter was just an infant I think she was just like six months old at the time um, and my oldest daughter was just she just turned three. So I have many, many years of videos accrued for you. I also make a ton of other gift guides throughout the year on my channel. Things for birthdays, for cr Christmas, Easter's, Valentine's Day, uh, back to school videos, Halloween boo buckets. If you can think of a gift guide or like a gift giving holiday, probably got a gift guide for it. And I will try to make sure I link that um, up above for you guys so you can click that and throughout the years of all the different videos because I've acquired some really great ideas and I would love it to help you out. Um, especially because I know not everybody has kids in my age range right now. So hopefully you find a good gift guide that fits you and fits your budget. Um, and I'm really excited to share this year's for you. Um, it was a long time coming. I normally like to film this video a little bit earlier, but let me tell you, I feel like this year was a harder year. One, financially, I feel like it is a lot smaller than my years before, which I know some of you are gonna be like really um, and some of you will be like no that's better um, you know I am not here to judge anybody's way they gift for their child and I hope you understand that the same way for me for some of you this is going to be way too much and for some of you this is gonna be way too little everyone gets to decide what they what and how and how much they want to spend on their children every year for Christmas and what they can and with this year with inflation and everything it definitely has hit us hard my husband is in the finance industry particularly like working with investments and people are definitely a little bit more trepidation trepidatious and apprehensive to invest and so and that is where a lot of our income comes from and so it definitely has been a little bit harder than expected this year and so um, I had to be crafty and think of some good um, good ideas that weren't super expensive as well as really shop the sales so a lot of the stuff that i actually purchased ended up coming during black friday because i will say although inflation was a lot higher this year these were some of the best christmas sales i have or black friday sales holiday sales that i have ever seen um and i think a lot of that had to do with inflation and you know stores worrying about people you know actually buying stuff this year um so i did get some awesome awesome sales and they're still happening so i definitely recommend if you are looking for some things at pretty much every place i shop they're still having awesome sales so definitely check it out if you're trying to save some money as well um but with that being said it took forever for everything to come in um all of the places that i shopped were pretty fast shipping places and so i was kind of surprised that it took so long but i think a lot of people were doing the same thing as me and we're shopping during Black Friday weekend. So I think now should be good. I ordered a couple more things and they've come in really quickly. So I think that it was mostly just like the mass amount of people ordering during that time. So if you are still needing some gift ideas, I know this is a little bit later than I like to post. I think all of these still should be able to get to you guys in time for Christmas. Um, especially like I said, because most of these things are accessible. Um, typically a lot of people have these stores in their local area, but even if you don't, they should be able to ship to you in time. Okay, so. Let's just get started. I'm just gonna jump right in. Like I said, I have two daughters. My oldest is named Olive and she is eight. She just turned eight last month. And my youngest is Eleanor and she is about to be six in March. All right, I've filmed this a number of times, but like 15 times a charm. All right, so let's start with Eleanor. Like I've said before, Eleanor is five, about to be six in March, which is crazy um and she is still very much into toys very much into dolls um, the majority of the things that she asked for this year were dolls um as per usual which is totally fine with me because they are like my favorite too that was my favorite toy when i was a kid so um we have a full mix of ideas though that i'm really excited to share with you so let's start with the toys 
Um, the first things that she really asked for were some of the OMG dolls, the LOL OMG dolls. She hasn't really asked for these in a long time. Um, I don't remember the last time we bought one of these, but these were like the two ones that she really wanted this year and reminded me about um, multiple times. These were actually ones that she'd asked for, I think a long time ago um, when they first came out, but she remembered and was like, I want these ones. So they, these are not necessarily new. They've been out for, I think, a year or two at least. Um, but she asked for the LOL OMG Sweets, um, which is just this really cute little uh, girl who is, you know, all like sweets, like just soft, fun pastel colors and just like soft and gentle and sweet. Um, and then she has a best friend named Spicy. Um, spicy babe. So they're best friends and if you like they're like supposed to come together and you like put the hearts together and they're best friends I don't know um, But I do actually think these now come in like a set like I think you can buy them together uh, But I got these for a really really good deal during Amazon's um, Like when Target was I guess it was Prime Day I don't know I got them for a really good deal for like between 11 to 13 dollars I think um and so snagged them I think it's more fun to be like I'm opening up two toys you know so that's what we went with um but I do believe you can get these together but they're best friends and they're just cute like polar little opposites um and these this was like on one of her most wanted dolls this year next um, she didn't actually ask for this one, but I saw it. And I just couldn't resist. Um, this was the LOL tweens. I love the tweens. I think they're so cute, but neither of my girls have been like super into the tweens, but I just think they're adorable. And I think they'd be great to be like, oh, these are, you know, um, this is the little sister or whatever. And I just think that they're so cute. This is Gracie Skates. I got her at Target for, she was originally $19.99. She was on clearance for $5.99. And then when I got up to the register, she rang up like $4.13. So completely, I was like, you're coming home with me. Like the best deal. And I was like, if you don't want her, I'll keep her. Like she's so cute. And she just has little roller skates on. I love her little puffs. I'm really hoping that the glasses, because she's glasses in this picture, I hope that they're in there somewhere because I think that that like really like finishes it off and she'd be so cute with her glasses on. So anyway, I really like the tweens line. I think they have a lot of really cute ones and you can get these for pretty cheap. Like you can find them in pretty good sales. Um, I mean, I don't know if how low was I got this one, but I was so excited and I think Eleanor will really like her too. Next, uh, this was like one of all Eleanor's top asks again this year. This was like a, it was a pricier item, um, but they still absolutely adore Rainbow High. This year they came out with Shadow High and Eleanor really, really wanted the um shadow twins is that what they're called veronica storm and naomi storm i think they're the shadow sisters the shadow twins oh my gosh i can't remember what they're called they're the twins um these are the coolest looking dolls like i think these are so cool like i want them so bad like if this is how i could look and be like the aesthetic of just like this goth glam i'm that's yes um, they are so detailed. Their nails are super long. They have rings on, the bubble gum, like their makeup. They are so cool. Their clothes, everything about them. I love these dolls. Um, but this was a pretty pricey item. I think originally it was like 60 or $70. I can't remember what it was originally, but during Target's like big toy sale and, um, they were already like discounted. I think I got this for like $25 or something like great. So I was really excited for it. Um, but they're beautiful. I can't, I'm like, I'm really excited to help her open up this one. I'm, this is like a toy. I feel like it's a toy for me. Cause I'm like, they're so cool. If you don't play well with these, they're going to my room and display. Like, I don't care. I think they're so beautiful. The next toy or the next doll is from Monster High. So I don't know if any of your little ones got into Monster High like mine did this year. The Monster High live action movie came out on Paramount Plus. We all watched together. Super, super cute. I highly recommend it. Um, and they were like, all right, we need the whole collection. Definitely didn't go that crazy. Well, I didn't. I'll tell you more about that later. Anyway, um, this is the Monster High doll that Eleanor wanted. This is Laguna Blue. Definitely not her favorite character, but I think she just really liked her aesthetic. I think she really, she loves pastel and tie-dye and just thought she was so pretty. So she wanted her. Um, but um, trying to get these dolls and like all of the other stuff that they wanted with the Monster High stuff, 
it was like a knockout drag out fight. Like they were in stock in some stores, out of stock in some stores. I'd order them and they'd be like, sorry, it's out of stock, we gotta cancel. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know if you had that problem, like if you were in maybe in where you live, it was like, oh, they had all of them. It was not easy for me. It was a frustrating experience, but I did find her. She's really cute. I think she'll be really excited for her. Um, my brother did go like berserk crazy for them with Monster High stuff this year, but for Eleanor, he got her, um, specifically Eleanor, he got her the Claudine bedroom set. I will put a picture up because he actually wrapped everything up and put it under the tree already. I normally like to show you guys, but he was like, I'm doing it early this year. So anyway, he got that. The only place I've seen that on was Amazon. I haven't seen it at Target, Walmart, both in store or online. Um, and that thing came out, I think in late August and it sold out really quickly and then it was like not gonna come back and i was so disappointed because we hadn't gotten it yet um and it was something she wanted and i just thought it was so cute too um clearly i still have a doll problem <laughs> i'm like living vicariously through my children anyway but luckily it came back and he was able my brother was able to get it and order it and it arrived so hopefully maybe it's still in stock now i don't know i will have to check and make sure of course i will have everything linked below like normal but hopefully you guys can be able to get your hands on it because it's so cute and it's like 39 dollars, which i think is such a good steal for a play set because sometimes they can it's like 50 bucks for i feel like normally now nowadays and so and there were so many different accessories and i thought it was so cute so that is part of it she has now a claudine bedroom um but apparently laguna is gonna be living there so claudine's being nice and sharing her room i guess um <clears throat> all right next thing are shopkins of course if you watched any of my previous gift guides for eleanor pretty much every single year she gets a thing of shopkins she still loves them through and through her collection is massive if you hold the bucket it is so heavy you could like lift it as like weights um but this was the newer uh series that they came out for a long time with the real littles they really didn't make any new actual like from new brands or new actual items they would just like reuse the same ones over and over again it was frustrating because she'd ask for them but it was like you're getting the same stuff so they finally brought out a new line this year it's still real littles but it's snack time um and so they have all like still name brand things just kind of like the um what are the miniature ones they're like the little balls they like those two what are those called they're really big. Oh my gosh, what are they called? Mini brands. Okay. Um, just like those, but they come with Shopkins. I don't know. I just think these are so cute too. Honestly, I think they're a little better than mini brands, but whatever. I digress. Anyway, um, but so the that is actually something from my mom. Um, but she, I'm sure she's going to still love and adore it. Okay, the last toy item, I believe. Oh, second to last toy item. Um one of them I can't show you because it hasn't arrived, but if you watched my, what I got my um, daughter for her eight year old birthday, Olive's birthday haul, highly recommend it. That was the most successful birthday haul I think I've ever done for her. She's loved everything. One thing in particular, which I didn't, I thought she would like, but I had no idea how obsessive. I have never seen her so obsessed with the toy before. We found her the My Melody purse pet um there is a hello kitty sanrio like uh perspect collection there's three different ones um and we got all of my melody because that's her favorite character it has gone everywhere with us everywhere with us she's taken it to show and tell to school like five different times now um it's her favorite thing i think she owns at this point and eleanor like wants to be just like big sister and she wants one so there's hello kitty my melody and choco cat and eleanor wants choco cat so um, my mom actually ordered it it hasn't come in yet it's from amazon they there i think they're normally like 35 dollars, and it was on sale for like 28 i believe um and so definitely recommend like i have never seen my kid love something more really really cute really fun um interactive but also just like she just loved it so that is actually something else um that eleanor's getting but it's just not here yet last toy item and this is like a special one i got this earlier this year i have always been absolutely obsessed with barbies ever since i was a kid they were like my best friends that sounds so sad but i mean as i got older i made a lot of friends but as like a young kid I didn't have as many friends I felt kind of lonely and so I would play with my Barbies um, and like I said like full-on plots like they had like five-year 
time spans okay like I was very detailed <laughs> um, and they just meant a lot to me and so now that my girls are getting older and they really appreciate Barbies and dolls I've been able to like share a lot of my dolls that I have had in the past with them um, and it's been so so special now so many of the dolls that I have had are still in incredible shape and condition Barbies in the 90s at least were made incredibly well like I just they have been they lasted so long through my like playing for with them for years for my girls now playing with them for years and they're still in great condition even better than some of the ones that they have gotten in the past number of years and so I kind of wanted to do like kind of a specialer gift this year especially because I don't know as, as Olive gets older how much more she'll be into toys and dolls um, but I wanted to gift them one of my favorite dolls when I was a little girl um, and so I shopped on Macari and my brother actually found this one um, at a thrift store and it's new in box hasn't been opened um, but it's from the 90s and the one that we got Eleanor we got them two different ones we got Eleanor Becky and she's the school photographer this is one of my all-time favorite Barbies that I had. Um, she's in this really adorable red wheelchair, and she has a red flannel on with a white tee, jeans. That I mean, the details that they ha we had when we were kids with Barbies were so much better than now. Um, and it has a little belt, and it's like fully like. It's so cute. It's not like painted on or anything. It's like a full belt, little converse. There's like this little leather satchel backpack back here. Um, she has a camera. She has like stud earrings in. I love more of like the red lip makeup and like the frosty eyeshadow. I just, the dolls back then, I'm telling you, it was so much better. Anyway, um, but I got her. I was so excited when he found her at the thrift store and texted me a picture. I was like, yes get her uh, I think you got her actually for a really good price as well um, because this is a vintage collector's item this the thing that's in here that uh, dropped I think is one of like the, um, the yeah she has also a pair of sunglasses the little mini ones they're all cool again it's down here so but everything else is like fully intact you can tell that the rubber bands though are like aged um, that held her in place but anyway this is from 1998 so um gosh this brings me back I'm so excited I can't wait I hope that they love it as much as I loved them um so I'm just gonna wrap this up and put this under the tree but this is a very special uh present for um her okay I think that's all for the toys actually so let's move on to um the non-toy items so for pajamas we always get pajamas every single year my mom got her a pair and i got her a pair my mom got these from uh, members mark from sam's and they're a pack of two she got these like little unicorn just really cute you know like the little tight fitting ones um that are just easy cozy cute basic little pjs um i think these are like 12 bucks for a pack of two and then i picked out the, <laughs> these ones if you know eleanor you would know that she's obsessed with blankets. She's obsessed with cozy, soft, plushy things. She loves being cozy. Like, that's a very big comfort thing for her. Um, she's very tactile and, like, really, like, really enjoys sensory experiences and items. And a lot of that also comes just, like, with blankets. Like, she, like, she has her most prized possession are two blankies. She carries them with her everywhere still. They're, like, very comforting to her. And so I found this pair of PJs that I think she's going to love. They are, like, fleecy blankets. She's probably going to overheat, but they're very cute. I sized up to an eight and I fully regret it um she is like a very 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 tall kid I think she's in like the 75th percentile for height um she's very long legs like her father and but she's like in the 10th percentile for weight so I think these are just gonna burp. but we'll see I expected them to like run small they didn't um but that's okay so she can just wear them for a long time but they're just like fun flower power style like PJs. They're a bit more bright and vibrant in person. They're coming off on camera. They're really, really, really soft and cuddly and cozy. And then the top is a crop top. I know some of you are going to be like, I can't believe you would put your daughter on a crop top. I sound like Moira Rose for a second. I apologize. I love Moira though. Anyway, mm, sorry. Um, it is what it is. You know, she's not going out anywhere. It's something that it's fine. Like it's you do you friend. If you don't want your daughter wearing crop top, don't buy a crop top. This is fine. She's wearing it at home. It's not a big deal anyway cute crop top that goes with it moving on um with the 
PJs. My mom found, or I found these, I think, that my mom got them. Um, but they're from Children's Place. I want them so bad. They're little bear slippers. I wish they made them in my size. I know that's ridiculous, but I love them so much. They're so cute. I believe they also had a pair in purple. Um, last year, the girls got Rainbow High dolls that were like the sleepover ones, and um, they had the, exactly these uh, slippers. They look just like this. So I'm so excited. She's been really into slippers lately. She has a pair that I got, I think, like two Christmases ago, and they're way too tight on her little toes, um, but she loves them. And so I think she's going to freak out. Um, they're so cute. This is one of the gifts I'm most excited about. I want them so bad. Anyway, um, but they'll match with both of her PJs. Then we also got a pair of boots, um, just some warm, cozy boots. They really needed some nice, cozy, warm boots uh, for winter. These are also from the Children's Place. They're just like shiny, holographic um, little little boots that are have stars etched into them. I really like the soles because they're nice and rubber, um, so they will last a while. They're nice and cozy and fluffy on the inside. So these are hers. We got those for a great deal during Black Friday. Um, and then she needed a new beanie. Ollie got a beanie for her eighth birthday. So again, if you want to see that, um, go check it out. It was really cute. We found this one also from the Children's Place for Eleanor. She loves everything um, emoji and smiley face. So we found this little one that's super perfect. She's going to look so cute with this big old shiggy pom-pom mom top. So um, we got her this. And then my mom... <laughs> My mom found some gloves because she needed some new gloves and she's been asking for them because her little hands get cold in the morning and my mom ordered them. <laughs> and they're vacuum packed and it's just hilarious to me. There's a pack of three. I didn't want to open them because I just, I didn't want to lose any of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I laughed so hard when I saw this when I pulled it out of the box. Anyway, so that's a little set that she's getting. Um, for the rest of her clothes, she asked for some cardigans because her sister is obsessed with cardigans. Her sister has been really into, like, the aesthetic styles lately, so, like, she knows all about, like, soft girl, and she'll be like, that's emo, and I'm like, kid, you don't even know. You don't even know. Your mom was a scene kid back in the day. Um, and so, anyway, she tries to be like, you, that's, that's emo, mommy, and I'm like, <laughs> All right, anyway, so my point of all it is is she's like very into the aesthetics and like the styles and so she's really into soft, uh, soft girl and soft girl, I don't know. Anyway, um, but with that it's like cardigan central. She's like crazy about cardigans and so now Eleanor wants cardigans because she wants to be like her sister. So I found uh, three, but two of them are kind of separate gifts. Uh, I found this one, It, it's, clouds it's so cute it's blue with like little white clouds all over it i just think it's so happy and it just makes me think of eleanor it's just just happy and blue her favorite colors right now are blue and purple and i just ugh, oh, i just think she's gonna look so cute in it so that is that and then i also got this really pretty um ombre like rainbow one, I just thought she has like so many clothes that will match with this and it's just like cozy and cute. They're going to be big on her. I did size up just so she can have them for a while, um, but they're adorable and they're really soft and cozy. Um, and then I bought Olive a, a good number of clothes because it's something she specifically asked for because she's like in that age range, like what, you know, big kids clothes or just want clothes for Christmas. Uh, but for Eleanor... I decided I'd get her like a full outfit and this is one of the things I think is the cutest thing I think I've ever purchased for her to wear. Um, I went a little overboard but it's so cute. First I found this little strawberry dress and I just thought how adorable is this? It's so nice like nice and weighty. I don't know I just really I just feel like it's so princessy and flouncy. It is a little bit sheer but I she wear they wear biker shorts under everything so we have white biker shorts so it won't be a problem. But it's so pretty and cute and I just, I loved it. So with it, then I was like, well, she clearly needs a strawberry cardigan to go on top of it. So I got her this strawberry cardigan with red little buttons um, and strawberries all over it, front and back strawberries, just to fully bring out the strawberries. But that's not enough. 
we needed a strawberry necklace. So I found this one. Um, it's just like little red beaded um, with a little strawberry charm on the front like this. It's like a two, it's like a layered kind of style necklace, but there's just a little strawberry charm right there. Um, and then I was like, okay, well we need something to finish this off. I wish I found strawberry shoes. I did not, but what could finish this off more than a strawberry beret? Oh my gosh. This is so cute. It has like a little, you know, cardboard hat saver thing in it. So I'm not going to take that out yet. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to put this like right on top. I'm gonna put this all together in like a little closed box and wrap it up and this is gonna be on top. But I just think, my kids have massive heads. I, I have a very large head, my husband has a large head, they have massive heads. And so they fit most like adult size things. So it's gonna be maybe a little big, but I think it'll fit her because it's actually meant for adults. But I may borrow this also because I just think it's so cute. But how cute, they're like little embroidered strawberry patches all over it. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I think she's really gonna like it. Um, and it gives me Harry Style vibes, even though, you know, that's more of like the watermelon thing, but I just think it's so cute, little strawberries. So that <laughs> that's it for clothes, I believe. Um, and then for books, books are a huge deal for us in this house. Um, it's really important to um, nurture reading and encourage reading for my girls. It's something that I enjoy. It's like my f favorite form of entertainment. And it's just really important. Reading is important. I'm like, was such a big kid for Reading Rainbow was it, when I was a kid and loved Reading Rainbow. And so now, I don't know, I just like, I'm obsessed with reading. Not that, that those correlate. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So I got her two different books. The first book I got her was this graphic novel um, from, I can't remember if I got this from Sam's or Costco, but it was $9.98 and it's The Loud House. We love watching The Loud House together. I think I've shared this before, but I love cartoons. I have always loved cartoons ever since I was a little kid. It's a big comfort thing for me. I love watching The Loud House with them. It's such a cute show. It's so much about family. Um, and there's still a lot of like good lessons taught and morals. And I just, I don't know, I really appreciate it. I think it's such a cute show. It's really inclusive. Um, and anyway, I don't need to go off on The Loud House. I just really like the show. Um, but my whole point of it is she really likes it too and so this is a full graphic novel all of is obsessed with graphic novels and of course eleanor now wants to read them um but it eleanor is a beginning reader but she's becoming really proficient and really fluent in her reading really really fast um and i think that this will be something that'll be good for her to be able to read because she can break down each uh, they're not in big chunk paragraphs, but she can break down each speech bubble. But she's also familiar with like, these are the Casa Grandes. And so she like knows the characters and like knows kind of like the environment and what to expect. And so it, I think can help like context clues wise, context clues wise to kind of like break down more of the things that she doesn't fully understand. So anyway, um, and I'm sure Ollie will want to read this as well. Um, so I got her like a nonfiction and or a fiction and then a nonfiction. Now nonfiction I had intended to be more educational. It didn't go that way. I ended up getting her a Would You Rather book. She is obsessed with the game Would You Rather. Every time we sit down for dinner, she's like, let's play Would You Rather. We're in the long car ride. Let's play Would You Rather. Loves the game. So I found this book and I figured let's just do this. Like it'll be a fun way for her to bring it around and ask us all the questions. This is actually meant to be like a challenge, which you say challenge to her and she loves it. Like all of the YouTube kids videos are like, yeah, the, this challenge and this challenge, like I, she loves it. So I think it'll be kind of fun too. Uh, but I think it's meant to be kind of like a game. Um, but you don't have to play like that, but it's basically just like the questions are broken down of like, you know, would you rather be an Olympic bobsledder or a sword swallower? Kind of thing like that. So um, I think she's really going to like this. I think it'll be really, really fun and a fun game for all of us to participate together. And although, yes, it's not like the most educational, I think it's fun for, for us to learn about one another, help strengthen her reading, and help her with her decision making. So I don't know. I thought it was really cute. My mom picked up these two ones. She adores Cat Ninja. Um, and they made them 
on hardback because they, I think they're like epic original like novels. Epic is a reading app. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. A lot of elementary schools uh, use it and typically will have like a student login so you can use it for free. Um, but we also have paid for it and it has been worth every penny. I think that's why Eleanor started reading so early. She taught herself essentially to read by herself. Um, I mean, we worked with her letter sounds um, and sight words for a long time, but it was not something that I really, really, really pushed super hard because I knew that in kindergarten, um, especially watching Ollie do it through Zoom, like how um, they went about teaching reading and like their expectation levels and their starting levels and all of that stuff. So I wasn't super concerned. I knew she would get it. And before she started kindergarten, she was reading books by herself. And so um, I think a big thing that had to do with that was Epic. It, it, they can read books to your child. They can also, you, they can read them by themselves. There's graphic novels, there's chapter books, there's picture books. I mean, really good app. But on the app is uh, the series from called Cat Ninja, and she's this little cat ninja superhero. So we have book one and two, um, and they're just really cute, again, graphic novels. So um, I think graphic novels are becoming so popular for kids because they are feel a little bit more like interactive. They feel a bit like more big kid than like picture books. Um, and they're just fun. I just, I think it's so cute. So those are Eleanor's books. Um, we also do games every uh, holiday, I think for the past at least year, but I think I wanted to say I've done it for two years now. But I think this is going to be the third. I buy them a um, board game. We've been really into playing board games together, and this year for Eleanor, it hasn't come in yet. It's taken like a freaking a month to come in. I don't know why. Um, I ordered it off of Amazon too, but I got her trouble. Um, we had had like a 99 cent version that we had that was like clearance marked down from five below and it was like a little to go version It was like this big. It's falling apart We have played it so much because we all love it as a family and it is so much fun I loved playing trouble when I was little and so um, and she's adored it And so it's been super fun for all four of us to play together So I decided to get like the full-blown set that's not falling apart and it's like meant to be like actual like plastic and not cardboard and Anyway, so hopefully that comes in in time, but that should be in this haul, but it is not. So, but she's getting trouble as well. This, um, I don't know if I'm going to put in her stocking or if I'm going to wrap it. I think I have too much for her stocking. So you may actually see this in the stocking video, video I don't know, but Eleanor has got really, really into like doing her own makeup and she's actually gotten really good at it. They love watching me do it. They love watching like beauty tutorials that are like for kids. <laughs> on like their YouTube kids and stuff and it's just really fun for her to be able to express herself I've always been a big supporter of that um, and so I got both of them a Makeup Revolution palette um, I ordered these on Black Friday from Ulta I got them for such a good deal but they all came broken and shattered and I'm so disappointed so I'm going to take it back and hopefully I can get it in store it looks like it says it's available but you just never trust it but it's only one shade that shattered but it just like got such a huge mess all over the place um, but this palette is stunning. Like, it is a beautiful palette. Um, Eleanor has, like, a deeper russet skin tone like her dad. And so, like, golds and purples and oranges look beautiful on her. And I just thought this was perfect. I was so excited. There's a bunch of, like, shimmery uh, shades and glittery shades and then some mattes. And I just thought she would love it. But I'm so sad that that, uh one shattered so i'm gonna take it back and hopefully get a um new one but they sent it in like a like an amazon mailer like this i was like why the heck did you send it in that and it just uh both of their shadow their palettes shattered i was so disappointed um anyway so um this one was the which one was this one called Forever Flawless palette. They had a bunch of these ones where they're in like this um, kind of like metal tin style and this was the Forever Flawless palette. It's just beautiful. So um, hopefully I can get a new non-broken version before Christmas. I just don't know if that's going in their stocking or if I'm wrapping it. All right, I forgot to share this one with you guys, but um, this was like a big ask for them this year. They both asked for one of these. Um, Eleanor's came in a frustration free packaging it didn't come like it would in store um and i was a little disappointed i didn't expect that but it's the real litters <laughs> that's just, like fifth time i've said that real littles locker in handbag 
bundle um and i'll show you the way all is looks because she asked for one too um but this one never went on sale and i could never figure out why because the one all i've got like went on sale like 15 times I, I kid you not on amazon for such great prices and so i was like why is this one not going on sale it never did so i eventually was like well I, they want it so i'm gonna buy it full price anyway and i think it's because they may not like make it anymore or the way they i don't know but it's not in like regular packaging but if you don't know what i'm talking about it's just basically like a little miniature locker and this is something i would have loved if i was their age i was obsessed with lockers um again the ombre eleanor really likes ombre um and so you have this little faux lock and then you just open it up and there's a little locker inside and then it comes with a bunch of different accessories there's like a little locker rug little mirror all of these little accessories like a little chandelier a shelf all of these things that you can put in and design your locker um and it also comes with like wallpaper like stickers essentially that you stick on inside of it um and i thought this would be really good for their dolls to pretend like it's their locker i mean I think that's why they asked for it but also just because i think it's cute like it's just like a fun like little cute girly gift um and then to go along with that so it also comes with this like little uh purse and like a little mini carabiner um is that what it's called like where you you carabine off of a mountain that's called their carabiners right it just sounds wrong to me i feel like i'm saying like caribbean in my mind i don't know anyway definitely not that but you know what i'm saying anyway inside they have a bunch of like little school supplies so there's like a little like a real pen um there's like stickers and keychains and like sharpeners um and a little notebook like uh, just a bunch of like little stuff and it comes together they used to sell this these like individually um and they do because we have a little other one over here but um yeah that comes together like that and i just think it's such a cute gift it's like i would have loved that as a little kid but i just hate that the packaging looks like this because i just feel like it's like this isn't fun when you pull it out of the box you're like a what okay and then um the second to last item for eleanor this is something that my mom is actually giving her um they need these pretty badly because theirs have completely broke um, and they've just like grown out of them. It's just not as safe anymore because they're so much bigger. Um, and so we thought this was a really awesome idea for this year is to get them new scooters. So my mom got them both uh, Razor scooters. This is a blue one for Eleanor. Um, and do you guys remember when Razor scooters came out and they were the it item for Christmas? One, they were nowhere near, like they are so much cheaper now than they were and they still seem like the same quality and type of item that they used to be. But I feel like when they came out when we were kids, they were so expensive and I remember wanting one so bad. Um, and now my kids get to have them. And so anyway, so Eleanor gets the blue one, but they just needed like a big kid scooter. So this is just like a nice heavy duty like metal aluminum um scooter and it folds up and everything has the has the brake i mean oh my gosh just even looking at this just brings back all the memories i'm so excited for them so this is eleanor's gift um like bigger gift from my mom um oh my gosh oh last but not least i forgot to share this they both asked for blankets this year they were like very um very big on having a new blanket they both love blankets like i said about eleanor she wanted one different one but it was like really expensive and it just the reviews were really bad so instead i went on the hunt and i found this on walmart um this is ron's gone wrong i don't know if you guys have seen that movie yet um they love it it's on disney plus highly recommend it. it's a very cute movie um and they love it eleanor laughs every single time she thinks it's so funny anyway so um i found this blanket i think it's so cute it's exactly the type of blanket she loves like she loves the character blankets that are like thin um like fleecy and then they have like this like um like nylon-y satin -y, i don't even know what to call this like edging to it um trim it's her favorite type um and she wanted a blanket just like this so i think that she's going to love this um it's just really cute a little wrapped up perfectly ready to go but it's just ron's gone wrong highly recommend the movie it's very very cute officially the last thing for eleanor i believe um this is actually from santa he was nice enough to send this to me to share with you guys um from the north pole and then the, uh, our elves glitter and cookie are going to take it back uh tonight um to him so he can bring it on christmas eve but eleanor specifically asked and it kind of goes in tandem with olive and you will see why a perfect pets 
this is the original breathing pet so um it's a little it's a little doggy they i believe they also have cats but she asked for the dog um it's a german shepherd they have a bunch of different type of breeds she wanted the german shepherd because he kind of resembles my mom's men pin um who she is obsessed with um I don't really see it but she totally sees it so we're just going with it but he's very cute he's like nice and soft and cuddly and he breathes so his little his little chest goes up and down and she really wanted it I said it before but she's like very sensory oriented um, and she and she just likes a lot of comfort um, and so she when she wakes up from nightmares and stuff she wanted to be able to roll over and see like press him and make sure he's breathing so she could feel comforted and just know that he's here and like stroke him and feel better so um, Hopefully, I, I know he's creepy because he's like sticking in the bag like this. I, <laughs> my husband thought this was so creepy. Um, like I like, have this, anyway, I'm not gonna say it. Anyway, um, but I just don't wanna take him, I don't want him to get hurt on his way back to the North Pole. So hopefully he'll be unbagged by Christmas morning. Um, but he also comes with his own little bed that he gets to sleep in too. So that was nice, I thought. Um, but he just sticks on in here. And he's good to go. And I love the little box because it looks like you went to, you know, the shelter and adopted your little pet. It has like even like little holes in the box for him to breathe and everything. So this is um, what she is getting for, from Santa this year. This is like what she really wanted. All right, so that is all of Eleanor's. So we are moving on to Ollie's. Who is my eight year old? Let's try to make this, get through this without, you know, completely going hoarse because my throat hurts from talking so much about how many times I've filmed this video. All right, Ollie this year um, also wanted dolls, um, specifically her faves, which are some rainbow highs. So we have two rainbow high dolls that she asked for this year. Um, the first one, this is one of her most wanted ones, which is Lila uh, Yamamoto. Um, and she is so cute. Like, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with her. And I saw, and if you guys watched my gift guide, um, I asked for Crocs this year with charms and, um, chains. She is wearing Crocs with charms. Oh, I freaked when I saw it. I don't know if you see them. They're so cute. She is adorable. I think she's one of the cutest ones I've ever seen. So this is one, um, high on Ollie's list this year. And I'm really excited for her to open her. And the other one she asked for was Heather Grayson. She is from Shadow High. The Shadow Highs are really cool because they all look like they're kind of like completely desaturated of color. And they're just shadows. Um, but she asked for her and her lips were all sparkly. Um, but yes. So Heather Grayson and Lila or Lila. I don't know how she likes her name pronounced. Um, okay, she also asked for Monster High, again, because she loves it as well. And so one of the dolls she asked for was Frankie Stein. I think this is her actual favorite character um, in the movie. I love the um, body variations of these Monster High dolls. I don't think they did them with the original ones. And so Frankie's like super tall, and I really like that. And Frankie's such a cute character in the movie um, and in the show if you've seen her. So she um, asked for Frankie Stein. And then she also asked for Draculaura, who is my favorite. Um, this gosh darn doll was so hard to get. I had to hunt it down. I would add it to my cart and then somebody would buy it and it would disappear. Or I'd get emails of like, oh, I'm sorry, we actually sold it so you can, uh, we don't have it for you. And it just was miserable. So, um, we were able to finally get my hands on it. So excited. My mom is actually going to give this to her. Um, and I think she is absolutely adorable. Uh, my brother is also actually going to be giving um, the girls, like I said, Monster High stuff. And he is giving Ollie, I will put a picture up because he's wrapped it, um, the coffin bean. Ollie really wanted a like cafe to have her dolls go to and then she watched the monster high movie and we were shopping one day and we saw the coffin bean at walmart so i was able to actually see that in store i believe at walmart and i want to say target but i'm not positive on that one but i do believe it's online at target it's online at target walmart and amazon um again for 39 dollars bunch of accessories looks really really cute and so ollie saw it and just really liked it um, and thought it was perfect for the cafe that she wanted and perfect for Monster High. So that is the other gift that my brother is giving her. And then he got them 
crazy overboard he got them they don't make them anymore like i said i think a lot of the um monster high things became really like big collectibles of all those stuff that was discontinued and he bought them a lot of the play sets that have been discontinued that are unopened in boxes off of makari and ebay and then he was like dead set on getting them this i have no idea where we're gonna put it but he bought them again i will show you a picture a giant monster high monster high house um it's the big one i had seen a smaller one i was like if you want to do that like get this one like it's smaller no no he was dead set this again is an, a, one that's like been discontinued that you can only get like through you know like ebay or mercari and stuff like that but he was able to get it unopened um and that is what he's giving them it went crazy buku crazy on them i don't know where the heck we're gonna put it no idea where we're gonna put it but they i'm sure will be elated and beside themselves so fully done with monster high i'm not buying any extra monster high stuff all right so ollie's um real littles locker looks like this her favorite color is baby pink so this was um hers again you can see like kind of inside how you can design it and like decorate it hers also comes with a purse with a bunch of different school supplies this is how i wanted eleanor's to be packaged it's just like more kid friendly the other one's just kind of sad but it's okay we'll make do um but this is her one this one i got like a really good deal on it was always on clearance or not clearance but like on sale on amazon but that one never was. But I only see one of these in stores now, which is like the um, Disney one, the Minnie Mouse one. So I don't know if they're just not making them anymore. The thing with Shopkins is I feel like the Real Little or the Real Littles line is it's just like it's hit and miss. Like I feel like it changes all the time and you just don't know what still is like available and being made and what's not. Um, but I think this is such a good gift and I think she's really going to like it. I mean, it was one of their most wanted gifts. All of these are pretty much their most wanted stuff. There was a lot of stuff we didn't end up uh, picking and buying but most of all of this stuff is the things that they're like I really 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 want this year all right the last toy item is um the special Barbie that I chose for Ollie again this is a doll that I had when I was little this was a line of dolls that were my one of my top favorites um and it was like when I was a little bit older like near her age when these came out um and they are the generation girl line the these came out like right when Y2K um, happened, um, the year 2000, and it's so funny because now I look back and I see these dolls and I, they're like super cool again. Like all of the outfits and stuff are like, what's cool? Um, so I feel like she's gonna look at this and doesn't feel like it looks old because it's like all of like the patterns and style that's like completely made its comeback. But this is Barbie. Um, I think I had all of the dolls besides Blaine. It was like the Ken doll. I love this. I had the like high school for this um, set. It was my favorite. I loved this line. Um, but they just are like little, you know, little teenagers going to high school, which was like my favorite role play thing to do. Um, but it also comes with a free chapter book. So I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be interested in reading it or anything, but I think that's like kind of fun. Um, but this was, I got off of Macari um, and to a completely new in box and everything as well um but she has like a second outfit both of these dolls are like fully articulated but she's like fun like shiny shimmery makeup just like so so 2000s and her like pants are nice like silky flares like how cool is that outfit like can't you see people wearing that now um anyway she's also a photographer which is funny because i ended up getting her as a photographer as one i didn't realize that um but I can't wait for her to open her. These are just like special ones for me. May seem silly, but I'm very excited to gift those. Okay, so as far as PJs go for Ollie, um, my mom also got her a set of the Members Mark pajamas, but she got her like the little kitty cat cheetah print ones. Um, just like the little cozy, comfy, easy peasy little jammies. And then I picked out this set, although I think it's going to be way too big. And it's not technically pajamas, but I just thought something like she can lounge about in and wear in. Um, and they are these little set of like flared leggings. And they're kind of like this fun, like marbly type of looking design. Um, I just think they're really cute. And then it comes with this little, this little crop toppy little little number um really adorable again these are like high-waisted little crop top again not like pajamas necessarily but just something she can like lounge in and wear to sleep and it doesn't really matter comfy easy clothes but just something that'll make her feel like girly and cool and i don't know i just saw it and thought it was cute 
um, for her. And then she has already gotten her beanie. Like I said, she got that for her eighth birthday from my mom. And then um, it came with its own pair of gloves. So she's not getting a hat and gloves um but and she does not she's not one for slippers she doesn't like to wear slippers so she didn't get slippers either um but she did get her own pair of boots these are actually from the sugar and jade line from a uh, children's place which is like the tween line um and they're like the little shorty ugg style boots which i know are like super cool this year um but these are like kind of like a gold spray almost on top and they're really really soft on the inside and then they had like little emojis that are glittery on the back so just really cute comfy cozy warm winter boots that she can wear um, on her little footsies um, and then I already shared the majority of these items with you in my uh, what I got my daughter for her eighth birthday video so I don't think I'm gonna go super in-depth but I did manage to find a ton of clearance items uh, at Target all mostly I think all from art class besides one which is her favorite line from Target. And they're mostly all little spaghetti straps, but she will wear these like over a little white t-shirt or with a cardigan over top, but they were like super, super inexpensive. Like some of these were like $2.40, um, all the way up to $5, but um, just cute little easy breezy little uh, camis and stuff. This is like the style she likes. She likes like the soft pastels. Well, this is not pastel, but like florals. Um, and just really cute little tops. So I bought her a number of those and then I also got her this really pretty like periwinkle um, scrunchy scrunch top. She likes simple pastel soft colors um, and then this little like floral like ditzy floral top that's ribbed with little buttons down it and then I also got this at Target for clean on clearance. Um, it's originally $20. I think it's still $20 but they, it was like an online only item and I'm sure it was a return but um, it was on sale. So it was marked down and it's in perfect condition, so I bought it. Um, and it's this really pretty like sage green color. Um, and I thought that would be really great for her. Um, and she's obsessed, obsessed with cardigans, which is why Eleanor wants cardigans. Um, and so I ended up getting her also one more cardigan. Um, and it's this really pretty soft baby pink cardigan that has this like lace design um or little details on it i just thought this was so pretty it will go with so many things she already has i like the little cinched in um wrists it looks kind of cropped but i think probably on her it won't be because she's like a little tiny thing um she's very short it's funny because eleanor is in like the 75th percentile or 70 whatever whatever i said earlier 70 something percentile for height and olive is in like the like i think like the 20 if or less like it's definitely not above 20 she's like a little short little itty bitty thing um, it's so funny because they're both polar opposites, but anyway, I think it'll be fine for her, but it's really cute and soft and pretty. Um, and then I also got this on Old Navy for like pretty much like 25 cents. I think it was actually only 50 cents, um, with the sale that they were having, but do you guys remember these? Like these were the, the happening item. Can't believe I said happening. These were like the cool item when we were kids. I had one that I wore probably every day. I loved it, the little headscarf handkerchiefs. So I thought this would be perfect. She's very into, like I said, the soft girl slash cottage core and like how perfect will like the majority of these things will go. So um, anyway, those are her clothing items that I got for her and I think she's going to be very excited. I do wish that I got some pants. I didn't pick any pants, but I wish I had thought of pants because she kind of needs some pants, but that will take care of that's not a big deal. Okay, so for her books, um I got her I actually just got her one book because my mom went like book crazy on her um and so I got her actually crazy choices for eight-year-olds plus tricky trivia game so this is kind of like a would you rather but there's like more involved in it um and they have ones for all different age ranges and so now that she's eight I just thought this would feel fun it's like a kind of like an activity book that we can play together but also she can play by herself there's a bunch of questions all different stuff like that so again not necessarily like educational but this is like my non-fiction item um and just like a fun activity that she can do with um i didn't get her any more books i actually ended up instead of getting her a fiction book i ended up getting her these this card game called right to win um she this is for her math fluency 
Um, and this is ages five plus, it's two to four players. She loves playing card games and to practice her math facts for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. She hasn't started multiplication yet. I think she starts that in the spring, but I don't think you have to have the multi, like you can pick to do addition or subtraction. Um, but she's awesome in math. She like outscores every single time. Like it's a great, like it's great with numbers, but just to really help like encourage it and just to be like really lickety split. Um, I thought this was like my non snapping. Um, I thought this was like a really good game for her to play. It wasn't very expensive. It looked really fun. It was from the brand Reethy Games. Reethy, Reethy Games? I don't know. But it looked kind of like like a little magic card game. I just thought it was cute. So not super expensive, um, but it'll be fun. And I think it's like just better than like flashcards. Um, I think it's just better for her mind. There's just different ways to do it, and it's like rather than memorization of like seeing numbers and just a facts it's like something you can like apply and practice actively so i thought that was really good um my mom also picked this up for her she's obsessed with comic books and graphic novels she wants to um write and illustrate them when she gets older and she's been doing them on her ipad um for months now and they're so cute and so good like the way she her color theory is incredible i don't know how she learned it but she is so good with it. Um, so we found this on Amazon and it's just a blank uh, comic book for kids. This is such a good gift, I feel like, for so many different kids, so many different age ranges. Like getting this with some like pencils, um, so like drawing pencils and some color colored pencils, I feel like it's such a good gift idea. And it's just fun, um, but it's just like a bunch of blank comic book uh, pages. So she can just create her own comics. So. Um, so cute. I just think she's really, really going to like it. Um, and again, this was on Amazon. I think this was pretty highly rated and I definitely would recommend it. I really like this. The other books um, are from my mom and she got multiple book set collections. This is such a silly thing, but it's something that I was like, one of the things that I was most excited to be able to share with you guys. Um, and something that I've like dreamt of being able to do. I've seen, you know, a lot of what I got for kids for Christmas videos or th through the years and a lot of uh, families have older kids and so they would share like book collections and I don't know why for me that was like always something that I was so excited to be able to get for my kids but it's just because I love books I think so much and the idea of being like having a kid who was just so enamored with the series and had like multiple of all those series was so exciting to me I don't it's something that's so silly but it was something I was really excited about my mom was like okay I got you covered. So she got three different sets. The first one is Dork Diaries, which is a really, really cute um, line or series um, for girls. These are um, chapter books. This came in a set of three. My mom said the hardbound were like so much cheaper than the paperback, which is so much, it was totally better for kids because I feel like hardbounds are just so much safer with them. So um, just really, really cute little uh, uh, series. And uh, new school, new friends, new crush, three diaries. So Nikki can spell out about all of it. Just like really, or spill, not spell. Just really cute like little, I think it's, I feel like they have, yeah, they have illustrations and stuff in it and little graphic novels. I've seen her bring home one before from um, her library at school. Um, but anyway, I really like those. Um, and then she really loves Ivy and Bean. She's brought multiple of these books home from her library at school again. So I thought it would be a good idea for her to have some from her for her own. She there's three of them, and then I think this is like the original like starter story book, and then there's three other ones here. But they also have this uh, show on Netflix. They have a bunch of different uh, Ivy and Bean. Ivy and Bean um, movies on Netflix. It's really cute. I definitely recommend it. A really cute little uh, show and um, book series. So Ivy and Bean. And then I found these on Amazon. I just thought these were a really good idea. These are Timmy Top Thompson, um, Solve Them Yourself Picture Mysteries, Junior. These are Young Explorers books one through three. So it's kind of like a pick your own destiny, pick your own mystery, pick your own ending. That's what it is figure out any book but you basically like solve the mystery throughout it they'll have like clues at the bottom of the pages and stuff and you have to like try to figure it out and I just thought it's like fun interactive Ollie said the other day she was watching a, a movie and she was like I just really like this movie because I really like the mystery so I was like this is gonna be fun like she like is getting into like mysteries and thrillers and clues and all that stuff and so um I thought these were really cute and I love that they came in a set of three as well so she is set for books. 
you guys watched my what I want for Christmas for myself, like my own gift guide, I asked for a bookcase. And it's not just for me. Um, it would be for my kids too and I want it so bad. And now that there's so many books that even just the girls got, I'm like, please, please, hopefully I got it. Um, okay, another thing that Ollie kind of needed, but also wanted, but more of like a need. Uh, she needed a new iPad case. Hers has just gotten, I mean, she's had it for like three or four years now and it is definitely, it's time to, it's been, it's, it's time to go. Um, so I found like a more like grown up version. Um, hopefully she can be a big girl and not drop it. That's my only concern is that she, cause it's strong enough. I feel like for an adult that it won't get broken. Like I feel like it's a strong enough case that for a kid, I just, I'm still not sure, but I got her this really pretty marbly, um, like rose gold and pink and purple case. It has a stand, which is her like number one, like must have. And then, but it just goes back perfectly. Um, and there is like a hard case up in the front of it. Um, and it's like fully encompassed. I'm just like the other, she's had like, you know, those like soft, um, foam ones for so long that are just I feel like heavy duty and that's what Eleanor still has and Eleanor got a new one for Easter but it was like soft foam so I'm like I really hope that this is she can do this I'm a little nervous but we're gonna hope for the best but I think it's really pretty I ended up getting this I think for a good deal during um Black Friday I just don't remember what it was what the price was but I just thought it was really pretty so that was the one for her I do believe that they did come in other colors um but she needed it so She's probably gonna open this and be like, what is this? But then pull it out and understand. But uh, something she definitely, definitely needed. And then for her game, um, I picked out for her, owner got trouble, and then for Ollie, I picked out what do you meme family edition. Um, we have played the what do you meme game, my husband and I, with our friends and stuff. It's so much fun, but they came out with the family edition and I just thought this was so up my kids' alleys. They love like jokes and, um, pop culture things that are like kids and all that stuff. Um, if you've never played this game, basically you get like a picture like this, like a popular meme, and then um, it gets put up, like there's a little stand, and then you have like a bunch of different sayings in your hand, and you're basically want to get rid of all of them and get like, you know, people to pick your sayings. Um, so it's like, this is the picture, and then you have to pick the saying that goes with it, or you think it's the funniest, and it's like, when the dentist asks if you floss daily or something, or when you're washing the dishes and touch soggy food, like, um, the adult versions are a little bit more risque, um, but for kids, I think this is going to be really funny, and I think they're both going to have such a good laugh. So, I got this. Um, I think they have a bunch of different, I mean, they have, this is like a very common type of game now, um, but I think she will really like this, and they both will, like, will have a lot of fun together as a family. Um, so that is her game that I picked for her. And then um, one of you was kind enough to send this to me because Ollie wanted a blanket just like her sister and she is obsessed with cats. I've told you guys that so many times, but one of you was so nice enough to DM this um, idea for me and so I went and got it. Um, this is from Dowin Direct. Uh, it is a cat throw blanket. It's super soft. I have opened it. Um, it's super soft and cozy. It's really fluffy. Um, this freaking blanket had thousands of reviews. I just like didn't expect it to be so highly rated. There's a bunch of different prints, but this is the one we picked. Um, she's obsessed with cats, but she loves taking silly photos. It's like the age range, I think, but it's like every time we take like a normal like cheese photo, she's like, okay, silly photo, like loves it. So I think like cats doing a silly photo is so funny for her. Like I think she really will really like it. So this is her blanket. Um, that she's getting. This is actually from my mom, um, but we got this on Amazon. So thank you so much who DM'd me this. We were very excited about it. Um, and then her makeup palette, also from Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Makeup now. I don't know, they changed their name. Um, I got her this one, which I just screams olive to me. This is the Forever Flawless. I said the wrong names. They're both Forever Flawless. This is the uh spirituality one and this one is the regal romance one that's what they're called okay so um this beautiful again also shattered i was so disappointed again i don't know why they shipped it like that um just one again but one's enough but beautiful shimmers like i'm like looking at a couple of these where i'm like oh i like those for myself anyway beautiful shimmers like uh orangey peachy pinks 
So that is olives, but it's gonna go back and hopefully can get a new one that is not shattered. So again, I don't know if I'm gonna wrap this and put this under the tree or it will be in their stocking. But for right now, I just wanted to share that with you just in case I don't put it in the stocking. For Olive, my mom also got her, her Razor scooter and hers is the pink one. Um, pink's her favorite color, blue and purple are Eleanor, so Eleanor got the blue one. Again, good scooters, good brand. We're excited for it. Okay, is that it besides Santa's present? I believe I covered everything, my goodness gracious. I feel like Olive on paper, like I have our list down. I feel like Olive had way more, but now looking at Eleanor's, I'm like, Eleanor looks like she has way more. So I'm like, am I missing something that I, or maybe Olive just has like smaller things? I don't know, I have to re recalibrate because I feel like I took way longer to do Eleanor's than I did Olive's, but okay. Lastly, this last item is for Olive and it is, um her big santa present that she has asked santa for and unfortunately santa um hasn't been able to get it to me in time to be able to film this video um so hopefully the elves can track it down and take it back to the north pole before christmas eve but this is something that ollie wanted really really bad she like i said is an absolutely obsessed with cats and she um really 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 wants a real cat now, we just don't have the space, nor the finances, nor the lifestyle right now for a cat. Um, it's just not the time for us. So we're not gonna get a cat for her, and she knows that, um, but you know, that's what she really, really, really wants. But she, so she knew that she wasn't getting a real cat. Um, so she went on the, <laughs> she went on the hunt for a, basically an animatronic cat kind of similar to the puppy that we have here, but just way more interactive. So she found this brand. Now this brand is marketed more towards um, uh, the elderly um, and older people who struggle with like dementia and um, who are diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's or who live in assisted living um, communities um, or you know retirement homes, retirement communities. Um, and it's for uh people like i said specifically with who have dementia or alzheimer's to help with like their memory and comfort as well as um uh people who can't have pets if they do move to these communities or facilities um a lot of times they don't allow them to have pets um and so but they miss that like companionship and so they're, it's made for that but it's also like they say it's okay for kids or it's like it's for kids too it's like the age range is like five to 105 um <laughs> but it's this cat and he is completely like full-blown animatronic like he purrs and meows and like rolls on his uh, back and moves like full-blown um and she has wanted and begged for this for months like this is she is like sold sold on this item now this item is a pretty pricey item um, it's not something that goes on sale very often either. It's not because I think that it is kind of like um, almost like a treatment in a way. Like it's something that's used, not obviously medicinally, but just f for different. It's not a toy, so it's not something that I feel like that goes on sale very often. Um, like it's therapy tool, I guess. Anyway, um, luckily Santa is you know super resourceful and he makes toys and he probably gets you know, the, the supplies for great prices. So, um, we were able to get it for her and I know she's going to freak. She's going to be so excited. So I really hope she likes it. <laughs> I really hope she likes it anyway. Um, but my question for you guys is I would love the advice to tell me if how you think I should help present it or how I could tell Santa like a good way to give it to her. She was very big about like wanting it presented as if it was a real kitty cat if she got it for Christmas because she loves watching videos of like kids um, opening like, you know, which is also, it's the whole other thing, but like having kids who get like puppies and 
kittens for Christmas and stuff like that. She like, not getting a real one, but she like wants that experience I think really bad. So I would love your advice on how Santa could gift this for her on Christmas morning, on you know how we go about doing that. If any good ideas, any good ways to surprise her and stuff like that, that would be really appreciated because I, I want her to be able to have the experience that she has. And she's such a good kid, she's so deserving of it. Um, but I just, I want it to be as magical as she wants it to be. I just don't know how to go about doing that. So please let me know how I can tell Santa to, um, what, how to do it because that's, I love your advice. Anyway, she also asked for a little cat, cat bed. She wanted like a full blown big one, but we do not have the space for that. So, um, I actually found this little so strawberry one. I just thought it was sweet and soft and you know, if she really wants a bigger one, we can think about that later, especially if it's, you know, she ends up really, really like taking care of the cat and playing with it and everything hopefully that's what she does and stuff we can talk about having a bigger bed but for now this is going to be her little cat bed so just sweet and soft and happy and strawberries she also asked for a pet collar this will prop i don't know how again i don't know how i'm doing the whole cat thing so things are good advice needed um but she wanted a cat collar so i found this one that's again baby pink and then it has this little heart rhinestone right up there, which I think will be perfect for her. So that is it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's all I can think of right now. Um, cover the Monster High stuff, cover the things that haven't come in yet, I think. I just feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. If I am, if I, future Sarah, editing Sarah, if I'm forgetting something, pop it up right here. Like have it hovering, because I can't remember it. But that is it for now that I can remember. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's taken me hours, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I always have so much fun filming this video, but I forget every single time how much time it takes to film, but it's worth it because it is so much fun and I go get to do it only once a year. Um, so I hope I gave you some good ideas. Like I said below, I will have everything linked so you can shop all of the items um, and hopefully get to them in time for your little ones or for whomever uh, for the holiday season. Um, and I would love your advice uh, about the kitty cat thing below or anything you wanna say. Um, keep it kind though. Sometimes you guys can be like real, real intense. Not most of you, most of you are the nicest, sweetest people ever. Some, some people can be like not so nice. Um, also, I cried earlier today. <laughs> Typical Thursday for me. Anyway, um, and I messed up my makeup and I didn't have time to fix it. So there are times, there, last, or a couple years ago, I was like really sick when I filmed this and my makeup, I just didn't take the time to like blend it and match it. And so many people went like off on the fact that my makeup was not like blended into my neck. And they were like, the wrong shade. And like, so mad. I'm like, guys, this is I, this, I'm not telling you how to do your makeup in this video like you can chill so if you see my makeup looking weird think about it. I cried okay don't make me cry more I'm just kidding anyway <laughs> anyway um that is all though definitely keep an eye out because the next video is coming will be my what I got my kids and their Christmas stockings stocking stuff for gift ideas. I have a lot of really good ones this year that I'm excited to share with you. And then I also will be having what I got my husband for Christmas as well as his stocking stuffer idea guide. And if you haven't already seen, definitely go watch like the what I want for Christmas, my Christmas wish list. There are tons of really good ideas on there for you guys that I think will be really, really helpful. So definitely go look at that if, and watch that if you haven't already. And I also plan on doing kind of like a get ready with me, like Christmas tutorial, <laughs> as I talk about not blending the makeup down my neck, make, or that my makeup looks bad on this one <laughs> video um, for you guys too, because I've had a number of you guys uh, recently just ask for makeup tutorials to come back, because I haven't done one in a long time. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to get ready together for Christmas um and kind of like the full outfit the full shabam so if that's something you like to do as or watch as well keep an eye out for that so that is it thank you guys so much for watching merry christmas if you celebrate christmas happy holidays um for whatever holiday you celebrate thank you guys so much for being here with me i hope that this year so far has been okay for you I hope this so far it's almost over it's been a year for us i feel like every year i'm like it's been a year. What do I say anymore? We are alive, I guess. So I am very thankful, but it's been, it's, you know, it's still been a, it's been rough. It's still been rough. Um, but I hope that your holiday season, however you celebrate, is as magical and as cozy and as peaceful um, as you want it to be and as you deserve it to be. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you guys soon.
Bye, guys.